Before you can scribe a log, that is, mark where to cut its groove and notches, you must find the proper setting for your scribers. I like to use an inside calipers to find the widest gap between the two logs. I've tried other methods, but I like this way because it's fast and it's accurate. The calipers are not scribers because they don't have pens or pencils in their legs and they're not marking the logs. So when we have a new log up on the wall and it has a gap between it and the completed logs below it, like this, I start at one end and drag the caliper along the entire distance between the corner notches. Every time I fall through between the logs, I open the caliper up a bit. Then I continue along again. I spread the caliper slightly whenever I fall through. And the last place that I fall through is called the widest gap. Here's the widest gap between these two logs. This is the last place that my calipers fell through. And this is where we'll determine the scribe setting for this log. Put the caliper away and get a scriber. At first the scriber falls through at the widest gap. So I open it up a little until it doesn't fall through. And then I scribe a few inches of scribe line maybe six or seven inches, on both sides of the widest gap. We need to scribe both sides of the log. There's a scribe line on the inside of the wall and another scribe line on the outside of the wall. And then measure the distance between the inside and the outside scribe lines. This measurement is the width of the groove. I like the groove to be about three inches wide here. If it's less than three inches, then open the scribers a little bit and scribe again. And measure again. This looks like it's just about two inches wide. And that's not enough yet, so we'll open the scribers a little bit more and scribe again. I've been using this technique for setting the scribers, oh, for maybe 20 years. And it's the best method that I know of. Though, usually I do this by myself, and I'm getting a little help here just to speed things up. Once the two scribe lines are about three inches apart, then you have the scribe setting for this log. Tighten your scribers and treat them gently so this setting won't change. With the last camera angle, you couldn't see what I was measuring. So here it is again. We scribed a bit of long groove, measured it, and the groove was not wide enough. So we opened the scribers and scribed again and got the scribe lines marked too. Every time you open the scribers, the groove gets wider. We opened the scribers again and scribed the section of scribe lines marked three. The groove went from small to medium to about three inches. And I was measuring from scribe line to scribe line. Three inches. I didn't measure this amount. This is called the scriber setting, or the scribe distance. It's how far apart the pens are. This is what I measured, and this is called the minimum groove width or sometimes it's called the cover. 
And just a note, this chalk line is not used to help find the scribe setting. The chalk line has another purpose, which I'll show you on disk 2. When the log has a character shape like this, then the groove might get narrower than 3 inches here, even though the widest gap is somewhere else. So before you scribe a log, look at it, inside and out, to see if it has special features that could make your groove less than 3 inches wide. Then use your scribe setting to check how wide the cover will be. You don't want the groove to be less than 3 inches wide anywhere. I'm Robert Chambers. I hope you enjoyed that short clip from my DVD series, Building Log Homes. It's a video companion to my best-selling book, The Log Construction Manual. The first box, Building Log Walls, has three DVD discs and is about five hours of instruction. You can buy my DVDs and my book from my website, logbuilding.org. I guarantee you'll be satisfied, but if you're not, just return those discs to me. I'll give you a full refund. But I'll bet you keep them and watch them again and again. Let me show you how to build your log home like a pro.